Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Hope you are doing good. This particular video is about a myth regarding sketching. Couple of guys asked on Quora and Facebook that how much sketching is important, why sketching is so important, why you stretch so much sketching techniques and all those things. Or is it the only thing very critical to creative industry and why is it the utmost thing and all those things. So see, let me explain. Sketching is just a medium to express your ideas and creativity. Now what happens is in design industry, it's not about just the sketch. It's not about just the visual part. Design industry is more about ideation. The strength of the idea is the core DNA about the life of a design designer. A designer is much more of an idea person than more of a skilled artist. He is not an artist. He is more of an ideation person. If you ask a designer solve a certain thing or give him a challenge, he will develop 10 different ideas. So consider sketch as an ideation tool, as a tool to showcase and communicate your ideas. And there are different industries in which it is important. Nowadays, there are lots of softwares, so you can do a lot of things on software directly. You don't need to do those doodles and sketches. But why sketching is still important is because the first thing which is easily available and the first thing which you can directly start away is taking a pencil and scribbling on paper. So if you are good at sketching, it is way faster and way more easy than opening your laptop or opening your computer starting illustrator or any other software tool and then you know dragging that pen tool and creating anything from scratch so my idea behind promoting sketching or my idea behind asking you to sketch more is because sketching is the fastest and easiest way to quickly showcase your work and put it on paper number two from the exam perspective because in exam you won't get any Photoshop Illustrator or any 3D rendering softwares and all those things. So even if you are good at 3D softwares from an exam perspective like Seed, NID, NIFT or all those exams, it is very easy to at least showcase a bare minimum creativity on paper first, right? You may be very good at Photoshop, you may be very good at any 3D softwares, but for those teachers or for those colleges to know that yes you are creative at least you should be able to represent your ideas in a bare minimum minimalistic way on the paper first so that's why i promote sketching third thing is you understand sketching and uh, take sketching as a tool to study things what i mean by tool to study is let's say you have Let's say you have a product like this, okay? Now, if I tell you I have an emergency light at home and if I don't show you a picture about it, the only way I can tell you how it looks is by sketching it, right? There is no other way except a picture or a sketch to for me to tell you that I have this particular emergency light at home, right? So, that is what the whole idea about sketching is it's a it's a communication tool it can tell you a lot of details which through words you cannot express like this particular section of you know holding the emergency light how will you explain this particular triangular triangular cut through words how can you explain this particular shape or this particular arc or curvature through words so you cannot express those things through words you cannot have Photoshop and Illustrator kind of tools in exam. That's why sketching is important. Sketching is a tool to study. See, when you try to sketch an object like this or a animation character or let's say an idea about a new film or a furniture or a ceramic object or a logo and any type of design you can consider. The way I can study an object or study a particular person's portrait or anything sketching gives me an opportunity to look into the details what i mean by look into the details is if i try to sketch this particular object i will 
try to draw this curve as perfect as possible then i'll try to draw these holes where you know i have put those screws then i'll try to draw this particular section with that texture then i'll try to draw this contour this surface these special surfaces this hinge joint and all those things right so when i try to copy something when i try to draw something my eyes get into those details and my eyes look for those uh, details and my brain is programmed to getting into details i my eyes put more attention to details and that is what the job of the designer is a layman versus a designer the change in perspective the change of the way you look at things and the way you are more aware about small small things is the differentiating factor which makes you a designer which will make you uh, a guy who made that emergency light versus a guy who just bought it and is using it right so that difference is created when you get into sketching mode when you try to see something and try to sketch from either memory or just by looking at it keeping it as, as a reference and you know sketching it from different angles trust me you can try this method at home just take 10 15 objects which are around you and try to sketch those objects your eyes will capture 10 times more details when you try to sketch that object so that's what i wanted to communicate to you guys it's not that sketching is the only way you can express creativity or it's not that sketching is the only thing which will make you creative it's nothing like that sketching is just like an observation tool it's like a communication tool it's like a language which is universally accepted people understand a good sketch if you draw a good portrait doesn't matter if an iranian is seeing your portrait or a canadian guy is seeing your portrait or if a chinese guy is seeing your portrait if you have drawn a good portrait you communicate that yes it's looking good so it transcends the barrier of language right so that's what it is guys uh, i hope i am able to clear your doubts consider sketching as a study tool as a communication tool as a tool to ideate and help you get into more details and try it it's not that difficult it's not at all uh, boring it's very very fun and interesting thing the more you practice the more it will be fun for you and once you know the basics it will be much more easier for you to you know take your career ahead as a designer okay so with this i would like to end this video i hope you like it if you like it please press the like button and share with your friends also till then bye bye take care see you in the next video